Hello, and welcome to part 11. Today, we are going to be doing, going inside the Halia Valley. And uh, as I said in the previous part, we are actually going inside the Halia Valley. And also, these guys are still just as weak as they were before. Just different color. Makes me wonder why they even bothered changing their color. So they would be stronger. Also, my question is... What was the point of this being here? If you couldn't actually do anything with it? That was my question. I will never know, to be honest. I will admit, though, that it's like, what's the point in this? As you can see, it doesn't really do anything. Why do they put this box here? Why do they put this here? It's not like you, you really can't do anything there. But, you know, Something I just realized, I actually didn't need to go through any of this at all. In fact, for the most part, you really don't have to go through this at all. You really don't. And also, there's no apples. Why did they have an A? Well, yeah. Also, another thing interesting, this cottage is here. But you can't go inside. So the question is, why is it even here? That's my question. Supposedly, nobody was living here at the time. At least, that's according to the story's logic. Anyway... We are going inside the Halia Valley. As you can see here. I wasn't joking when I sat inside. Yeah, this level is a maze. Although I use the term level kind of loosely. It's, you know, I like to believe that Zelda ripped this game off Ocarina of Time when you have to go inside Jabu Jabu. Well, this game, you go inside of a character before Zelda, so... And it has it beaten by... How many more years? Well, Ocarina of Time came out in 98. And this game came out in 1990, uh, 1995 or 96 in America. So about three years, I want to say. <laughs> about two or three years, yeah. So... So as I can say, you know, you really do need Dippy the Dinosaur, though. In fact, Dippy the Dinosaur is quite useful. He makes it so you can just cut in front of this area right here. Not hard when you got Dippy. Good old Dippy. He makes everything easier. Oh, yeah, that's what that passage is for, so you keep going straight. But, me personally, I am a cheaty. I'm just going to use Dippy. After all, that's what he's for. So, is there anything else down here that I need to know about? No? Just the same crap? Also, 
I'm going to show you something in this game. The one of the worst boss fights on the planet. Which I think is coming up rather soon, actually. Mainly because... It's just one of those levels where everything looks more or less identical. It's like, what are you supposed to do? But it's not a bad level. Out of all of them, this is actually one of the most interesting levels in the game, believe it or not. You know, in my opinion, you know. Because it's not that hard of a level. It's like the difficulty is there's still those annoying troll sections where with directions that go nowhere. But... On the other hand, though... Not a bad level. You know, you're still... It's the boss fight that sucks. In fact, this boss is so just terrible that you will not believe what I'm about to show you. The mother monster says, you are a human. You have no place being here. Watch what happens when I attack it. Notice how it, it ain't attacking at all. In fact, let me just remove all the animals and see if we can get it to attack. No, we need an animal. Okay, let's pick an eat a weak animal. Let's see if we can get just the penguin to do it. Now about what about fire? And no penguin. No. You actually cannot beat any of them. Unless you have... I mean, I already knew that this was the fastest way to beat them. But watch what happens when I just instantly attack it. See? It doesn't even do anything. And it only takes two hits. Making this not only the easiest boss, but also the most pathetic boss. Which is why I'm like, why wasn't this- This is easier than the- than the wolf boss, and that boss was ridiculous. Mother Monster says, Why do humans hate us so much? Is it the land for humans only? A world ruled by humans is good, and a world with monsters is bad? Is that it? You can kind of get where the game is going with this. With this. Not hard to figure out. It's just not a very good plot. The Halia Valley itself was, one, was being called Mother Monster. But with her slain, there shall be no more monsters born in this valley. Pretty much what happening is, is, well, yeah, you know those, those eggs that would shoot out? Well, those are gone now. You are no longer able to see them. And that sucks. It's kind of dumb if you ask me. So isn't there like some sort of money bags? It is, I forgot about them. Oh! And there is one place we do need to go back to. Or another life apple, that is. Not Soleil. But, 
this training room. And I don't remember if there was any life apples in the beginner's course. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we can mine for coins here. But I wanted to say there was. Actually, no, let's just go to... I don't even remember which course it was in. I think it was in the intermediate course. It's not worth going through this whole course though again though, just to get stinking life apple. But on the other hand, we do need the money. And if we can get the money through here... Then... Because the next area is going to be really short, and it's like the last part of the game is really all we're going to get. So I think this is pretty much going to be the last part. This last part sucks. Lord. I thought there was... But I guess, think, I think this one is the one with the waterfall though, but I don't remember. To be completely honest. If it ain't, I'll be kind of mad. Now we got 800 melons though, so... Yay, it wasn't a waste of time coming down here. Although it would be if I can't find that extra life apple. Because I think it's this course. But something tells me it wasn't. Yeah, this is really easy. Because... It's a lot easier now, literally because you don't have to give a crap because you got so many life apples. You don't actually have to give a crap. Alright. More bees. Yet this is the area. I don't really need any more melons. In fact, we're practically done with this course. There we go. Now that we got that life apple. We could in theory just leave the course to be honest. That would actually probably be easier. I need the cheetah, this is too slow. Considering that none of the enemies here are really a threat, I say we need to go as fast as we can. Wrong way. I just gotta figure out which way we gotta go. Oh, I really know. Funny thing is, I actually don't know which way we're supposed to go. Oh, damn, with the, tr the bees. I think we have to go this way. I actually don't remember what's down here. Probably tells me nothing of interest. Yeah, single male, and it's not as interesting as I would have hoped. Also, yeah, now looking back, it was really pointless to even come out here. 
considering that now you gotta deal with annoying course. Oh well, yeah, this was, that was a waste of time. <laughs> uh, a very big waste of time. We don't really need any melons anymore. We got more than enough melons. In fact, there's even another area where I think you can get a life apple. And we're just going to essentially not even do that. Just go through there. We're just speed running here. <laughs> we're just gonna keep. We have to do this. But this course was the, probably one of the more longer parts of the game. Honestly, hey, I'm making good padding here. But yeah. As you can tell, we are now through this course. I'm pretty sure we're done, but I want to do a check here real quick, because I'm pretty sure there's a life apple here that we missed, but I don't remember. Yeah, as far as health is concerned, we have unlimited health, so we're never going to have to run out. And plus, this course is really short, too. Isn't there something here? Isn't there a life apple here? Oh, yeah. Good luck on the monster training course, by the way. There's no monsters here now. Alright, what does the sign say? Yeah. Yeah, good luck. The monster crossing doesn't exist, guys, because the stupid guy who created those monsters are no longer here. So yeah, small things have changed. We are doing a lot more of a let's play than other people who have. There's a lot, I'm keeping a lot more footage so everyone gets entertained. I think I think I was right. There is a life apple here because I remember this section. I thought there was. See what I mean though, this course is very short. But yeah, there is no life apple in this course. Okay, so I was wrong. Anyway, we go through here, talk to this, go to the village, then we go to the king, and look, they're doing hammer time, hammer time, do 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 monsters in the prison have fell, have fled, we must do something. I never held a sword in my life. Please do something. Yeah, those guards are so good. No, oh no, the king is in danger. He is in danger. Yeah, the king is in danger, alright. You guys are stupid. The monsters fled. Take a bath. Oh, yeah! Thank you. Thanks to your footsteps, those monsters fled in a hurry. You have saved my life. Your brave act is such a noble one. Oh, I think the king says something else as well if we talk to him again. I wonder where all those monsters fled to. I hope they are all safe. Wait, what? Uh, okay, I don't know. If I think that was a translation error because from all uh, monsters are now heading towards the village. Oh, please go find them. Honestly, I was never really a big fan of this level, but you know while we're at it. We can explore this area Home of Teeny. feed him, please. I Will marry you when I get older. We will have a happy family. 
Oh, my child is just like you. I want to name my first child Corona. Oh, free. How precocious! Children proposing marriage at such young age. Oh, interesting. Can't go in that house. Can't go in that house. And pretty much everyone says monsters. More people are at the house of the wise man. He is giving a big speech today. They haven't decided on the day of the statue to be put in the fountain yet. See? And now we got the great place here. We gotta talk to them. I tried to talk to the king, but he thought I was going to attack him. I wanted to make him understand about us, but it was useless. We didn't do anything. We, we were in prison because we are monsters. We fled for our freedom. We want to lead a normal life. Is that so bad? Our life is so long, but humans want us to live behind bars. It's not fair. All monsters are evil. Humans are so shallow like humans. Each of us are different. But it's not futile to try to make a human understand. So, if they're all evil... I don't get this. Listen is what I mean. The translation in this game is either ridiculous... But also... This is the part of the story where you really start to realize... Yeah, this story is convoluted as all heck, and it needs to be. <laughs> also, move away. I heard a report that there is a monster inside this temple. I got a bit excited, but I'm under control now. Let's go hunt those monsters. Honestly, I never thought it was really the best thing. I don't know. This, this story sucks. And now they're dead. Attempted to talk, but no reply. Sorry, dead already. If we die, where will we end up? Tried to talk, but no reply. Is it such a crime to be different? Humans are the real monsters. I dream that someday we can all live a full and happy life together. Boy, I was surprised those monsters didn't even try to resist. Did I see a tear in the monster's eye? I wonder. And yet, you know, I never understood this game. Anyway, we're going to talk to this guy here. Oh, you have come back. I remember your work from the past. Wait, what? But we are in the past! I shall create the statue in the fountain after, after, after you for your bravery. Construction is already underway. Look forward to it, brave young man. Yeah, this is... Like I said, I've never really been a fan of this story. The story sucks. Fountain of Hero, young man, take your sword. Now is the time to fight. Rona understood the way to the meeting of the content written. The story was not that great. I'm gonna be honest. That story was not that good. Anyway. I guess we could go back in here and see what's going on. You know that a monster was killed here? You must have heard about it. It was a whole. It was horrible. If it if were not for this event, people would still come and visit. So you heard about the monsters that were killed here. Why is it that my heart aches? Why do you think those monsters were killed?
Funny thing is, is I don't understand that question. It's just a yes or no question. Also, I grabbed the life apple, I thought. Oh yeah, I did. I thought I saw it, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> it's weird how you see things. Billy here? Oh, let's buy this. Mermaid, would you like to increase your maximum HP? I will sell you one, but it costs 800 balance. I don't have any more apples of life. Humans really want to live a long time. We are really going to, as much as we could, to gain as much life apples as possible. Anyway, we're going to the last area. Which doesn't even have a sign, but the tornado is there, or sorry, cyclone. Hold up. All right. So I am not going to edit the uh, recording because thankfully my microphone has a button on it that allows me to, um, you know, mute the um, recording. But it's not a big deal anyways, because the good news is, is y'all were able to hear this amazing music, which I'm going to let y'all do. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, the Sega Genesis sound ship really does leave more to be desired. Yeah, this thing is... Anyway. We're gonna need that butterfly soon anyway, so we're better off. There's a life apple here anyways, so we're going to be practically good for quite some time. Oh! I think we need the, uh... Armadillo. Right. Oh, wait, no! That's right, we need the butterfly in this guy, Moa, and the butterfly. We're about to do some extreme action here. Yeah, you can just keep growing your sword endlessly. Isn't that neat? Look how far you can go. Impressive, ain't it? Anyway, let's actually get to the real business. Which is why in the heck is it so gosh dang hard to do things? I never really liked this area because it's longer for the wrong reasons. But the final area really isn't that hard of an area either. Oh yeah, you don't really need anything. You can just get a good run and jump on here and... Jump. Okay, maybe you could use a little cheetah action. From the cheetah man! Yeah. There you go. Took long enough, but you know what they say.
It takes a long time just to get things over. Though as far as as far as life apples is concerned, we're practically full of them. And supposedly this area takes place at the beginning of time. Which by the way, I just realized we need the cheetah. But yeah, this area supposedly is that it takes place in the beginning of time. Yeah, I think they just realized you have Gippy the Dinosaur here, and they're like, yeah. Which is actually one of the areas where I think they intended you to use Dippy. One of the few areas where they intended you to use Dippy. A lot of areas, they clearly didn't intend you to use them there. Just Or they did, but they made it an option. Which is weird. This area also, you could just literally abuse Dippy. Anyway, let me get Moa back. Because like I said, once again, there is no enemies in this level. So it's best to get things as done as fast as you can. Luckily, these areas are easy. Oh! This is easily another part where you can just use Moa and... Well, you kind of gotta use Moa here anyways, because... Yeah, this is how you get another life apple, too! Yeah! Although at this point, it's like, you don't really need all these life apples. I don't even know why they put one on this level, to be honest. You know? But, considering that this is literally the end of the game. But on the other hand, it's very nice to have all these life apples, too. So, in other words, Let's get this life apple here. Well, I want to still animate the rest of this area. It's really hard to do that. Man, it's really hard to do that. I mean, because you can hit stuff so easily. There we go. I think that's good enough. Gives us enough time to grab that life apple. And jump on our merry way to get into this area. Which we have successfully done. Actually, no. Let's not save. Well, I was going to try to also change into Cheetah, but I don't think we necessarily have to do that either. It's kind of hard, though, to get to this area. A lot of dead ends. If we can get around here just the right... We might have a way of doing... Nope! I'm still struggling just to get around this area. I trying to figure out where I'm actually supposed to go. Am I supposed to push this block? No. Oh wait, yes I am. What am I saying? I gotta use that. That's the weird thing. They made it so. My question is, why did they even? I'm not even worried about. Spirit energy is guarded by five senses and is very tough to beat. You are an odd-looking one. Aren't you? But I'll be your friend. It's dangerous up ahead. Don't get any closer. Do you... 
Man, now it's hard to read. Uh... Do you know the five senses? No. They are your five senses that catch the outside world to see, hear, touch, and smell. And taste. Remember this well. Many have gone to destroy the spirit energy, but none have returned. Hey, that horn. That looks like my horn. Why? There shouldn't be two of, of my horns in this world. Who are you? Corona begins to tell the story quietly. The world of light lives that were born, and the history that happened. Mother Monster listened to the to Corona unmoved in its position. Future world, hard to believe. If it weren't for that horn, life forms other than our kind exist? And what really is light? Opposite of darkness. Is it like the stars in the sky? So full of mystery. When this planet was born, there was an explosion which expected our world. When we came back to our senses, we were blown to this world. We tried our best to get back to our world, but the gate to our world was sealed with some sort of powerful energy. We could not get the gate to budge. Monsters were sent here by a twist of fate, then, and they even lost the ability to return. Even so, they were forced to live in this world on their own. Who can blame them? The thought of monsters being evil is human nature for the first time. In his life, Corona understood the position of the monsters. Slaughter and bloodshed? Do you really think we can gain peace this way? Human, perhaps you may be able to open the gate to the underworld. But it is dangerous. Many of our comrades lost their lives this way. The look in your eyes. Are you really going... You need... Not to lose your life now. I shall ask again. Then I have nothing to say. More to say? My thoughts are with you. Now, this area is very easy. Let's see, which one is this? Oh, this is the last one. Actually, yeah, just keep... I see a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just throw the sword with fire or stuff. But I just use Mo Moa and Monarchy, and look how easy that one was. It's as simple as just doing that. I've seen a lot of people use it the other way. But yeah, this bosses are not, aren't really all that hard. Oh, this is a good place for, Mo for Wong the Raccoon and Flamey here. Just throw the sword to get him distracted. Yeah, they really don't hurt you. They just more move. You. Who am I kidding? I don't think I. I don't think it would be really such. Can I attack with with both flying and flame? They don't really hurt you. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I'm definitely using this one. This one attacks much faster. When it comes to this boss, yeah, using the... This boss. Yeah, you really don't need the raccoon. But, 
I should have bought the other animals, but I didn't do that just to fill the inventory. Not like I would have ever used them, you know? Anyway, next boss. Let's attack this guy. You could actually abuse Diffy the dinosaur here. But I'm not going to do that because then it would. Then it's just like you're constantly pausing and it's just not worth it. This attack. And then rinse and repeat. If only I could. I hit him. How dare you? You saw that. I know I did. I know for a fact I did. There we go. Darn. There's just like so many hits. I in literal sense. And I don't know. I know, I know, not music wise, but there is a lot of actually hits. I don't know what I'm saying. He plays some good tunes. <laughs> uh, There's a musical note. That's really all it is. Okay, now we're playing Pac Man. Pac-Man to the rescue! Except it's not as good, but you just basically play Pac-Man. That's all it is. It's Pac-Man. We're playing Pac-Man. It is not as well made. And also not as hard, because thing is, Pac-Man had a challenge because you couldn't get hit once. This it doesn't really matter. You can get his many times as you want, especially with the amount of life apples you had. So you really aren't really that worried. It's just annoying that they don't actually work as life apples. That's the weird thing. Why couldn't they use program balance instead? But they couldn't do that. Because then they wouldn't have the. This one, you're actually supposed to use the armadillo, but I just find it easier just to take damage. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Because it's faster. That's what I mean. You're supposed to just use the armadillo character. And not take damage. But to me, I just find it easier just to take damage. Because if you use the armadillo, you will not take damage. As you can see here, not hard at all. Might as well heal up. Anyway, this area, you actually do need, you do actually need, um, the dodo bird, and I like to keep Wong, just to get the shots away from me. Darn. Problem is, with changing an animal, they don't keep your positions. So you instantly have to push the B, B, whichever button I just pushed, the C button. Just to... Instantly give it damage. It also makes this boss way easier. <laughs> Wait, no, I need Dodo Bird. Wait. I... Bad placement, to be honest. Okay. Now I have to go 
back to Dodo and back to Flame. And once again, although I don't know why I'm all so concerned about health, really. Because there's really no point. It does make the boss way faster. Beat, though, if you do actually use the... But the problem is, it, 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 it makes it so you really, really do gotta think about how to There you go. The spirit energy guarded the five five senses has disappeared without a trace. The gate that leads to the underground underworld has been opened. Countless numbers of monsters are sucked through the gate and into the underworld. Monsters from the ancient times have left this world without having a chance to see the light or live or the lives which were about to be born. They have returned to their true world without ever having relations with the history of this land. Now take a look with your hands. The history of the world has changed. I have tested all humanity and underestimated your goodness. You have for good forged a new future, but forget this not. It's, it is not humans alone who exist in this world, nor do they have the power to change that. That will always be. Now, basically, I am basically done with this Let's Play. Let's see what these are. Corona, what do you want to do? to be when you grow up. Do you have a dream? Yes. Wonderful. Dream you have done. Don't forget to keep on dreaming. I can't find Mac. I wonder if he's with other dogs in the neighborhood. When he means she means in the neighborhood, she means go to the castle and then bam, there's another doggy. Also, you can't pause the game. At all. Which, I think there's a reason for that. You see, here's my reason. So, my thinking is, the reason why they did that was because... Simple, they didn't remove any of the animals off the pause menu. Wow, 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 yippee yo, yippee yay! Mac the dog follows you. Well, that and they wanted to make sure you cannot unequip Mac when he starts following you and hovering. Also, look at this. <sighs> Watch this. Stay. Come here. Stay! Come here! <laughs> yeah. Alice says, Going for a walk with Mac? But if you leave, you can't come back. Soon. Are you really going? Are you sure? I say no. Okay then, talk. Take him with you later. I'll be here waiting. Alice, going for a walk with Mac? But you leave, you can't come back soon. Are you really going? Are you sure? I understand. I'm sorry I asked so many questions. I had something to tell you. Something really important. But, no, I'll tell you when you come back. Yeah, good thing is, thing is though, you can't actually come. Bye for now. I'll see you later. And this is the end of the game. You get to see the credits roll. But yeah. As I was saying though. The story in this game kind of sucks. And I did see a review from one guy who. 
I hated his review. I agreed with him with some of the story points, but I hated his review because he made the game itself look really bad. You know, because he didn't actually talk about how the game played. He just talked about the crappy story, which I agree, the story is kind of sucky. It's like... It's like Zelda had a better story than this. This is... Like, you have to defend the world from Ganon in Zelda. This is like... You have to defend the world from monsters because they're different? Or... What is the goal? It's like, and not only that, but the monsters are clearly doing bad things, even in the past. But they're supposedly, you know, evil and bad because they're monsters. But then why did they get the title? I mean, I don't get it. This game is, like I said, the story is convoluted because it's like... You know, I mean, if that's the case, aren't the animals also kind of monsters? Like, what about the lion? What about Flame the lion? He could, who has flame. Or... You know, you get what I'm saying. It really does feel like the game was <laughs> a bit rushed. But hey. You know, other than the crappy story, hey. The game wasn't half bad. And this is the end of the video. I hope to see y'all in the next part. When we... Well, next part? What next part? <laughs> Anyways. I don't know what the next video will be. Maybe I'll play Earthbound. Maybe I'll play Sonic 2. I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope to see y'all next time.